Holy smokes, I did not clean that very well at all. Hey everybody, welcome back. So, update from my last video, uh, definite fail. Uh, mostly on my part, a little bit on the side I bought them from, but anyways. Um, so I had got these springs and I had talked about, uh, these are the SCW 027s so for the Turbo Scorpion. Anyways, uh, the side I bought them from said they'll also fit the um, SC222, or sorry, the SC223, which is the rear shocks for a uh, Beetle and Scorpion, uh, but they do not. Um, as you can see, unfortunately, the spring is a lot larger, which I thought was the case, but silly me, I fell for it anyways. And the springs are definitely a lot bigger. So I had to ditch that plan. And instead, uh, what I ended up doing was uh, thicker oil. Now, what I went with was uh, the Team Losi. This is a 70. Now, for a lot of you, you're going to be like, that's a pretty thick oil. Well, uh, it's a pretty heavy buggy, and unfortunately, uh, it's a very short stroke on these shocks, so I don't have a whole lot of room um, to go. But anyways, that worked like a charm. So an old school trick, kind of to show you guys, what I like to do, uh, it helps with leaking shocks. These were actually leaking um, only after a couple runs. It could have been, maybe I didn't assemble them the best, but I'm pretty sure... Um, I built them pretty good. It's been a while since I built shocks. This was the first shocks that I dove into. Um, so who knows, maybe I was a little rusty. Anyways, uh, what I did was I went with the thicker oil, took apart the shocks, uh, I rebuilt them, put in um, new rubber or uh, silicone O-rings, and then um, kind of rebuilt all the uh, valves and things like that. So what I actually like to do is you'll see this part right here, which is um, a little cap that goes inside of this holder right here. I'm not sure how well you guys can see that. Anyways, I have this torn apart to show you. It's basically a little plastic uh, cap that fits inside. And underneath that is the O-ring. So the little plastic thing goes in there the o-ring goes in there and then this slides over it so what i like to do is i put a little bit of uh super lube and i went with this it's synthetic so that way there shouldn't be any issue um with compatibility on any of the oils that i run but may i just mainly run silicone uh oil anyways so i like to put a little bit um inside that cap before i put the o-ring um, and that little rubber or that little plastic piece in there and basically what that helps to do is keep the dirt um, and moisture out um, but it also helps to create a little bit better seal and fill up any imperfections or gaps that the uh, that little rubber o-ring might have so basically i fill that up with grease and then i essentially just push everything down and then shove in the um, o-ring and the whole assembly all together you'll get grease that is going to squirt out the bottom right here you'll get some grease that will squirt out the top i also use that uh, excess grease to lube the shaft not a whole lot you don't need crazy uh, amount and then i also like to put a little bit on the threads that'll help when you go to screw it in and then also that helps to kind of seal it and keep any dirt or moisture out I used to have really good success with that uh, back in the day as far as helping with leaking shocks. Now, there's a lot of methods out there, um, and I'm not saying this is going to fix every single leaking shock or any issues, um, but basically this has worked for me, and um, I've had good success with it on either mitigating um, or stopping uh, the leaking altogether. And like I said, the main thing was to kind of keep um, any dirt and moisture out. So as you can see, let me put back this one right here. And if you find that 70 is too thick, you can kind of mix that and blend it down or blend it up um, as you prefer. But I just went with a straight 70. So this is the rear shock. This one I already have rebuilt and put together. Super stiff. I mean, this is probably at least 40 maybe even 50% thicker 
and stiffer than what it was before. Like I actually have to put some pressure to actually fully compress that. Nice and quiet, glides good in there, as composed to this, where it just takes little to no effort. You can kind of hear it kind of sloshing around in there. Maybe some of that um, is from the leaking, though I didn't really have a whole lot of leaking in the front. I mainly just had um, the rears leaking, so definitely a big improvement. So a nice little trick um, if you can't find a stiffer spring available or you kind of want to keep um, everything factory and everything together, but just get a little bit better dampening. So already night and day difference. So I'll keep you guys up to date on that and hopefully get this ready to um, go on the track outside. Thank you everybody for watching. Uh, let me know what you guys think, any questions or comments. Again, thanks so much for watching. See you guys on the next one.